Hey, this is Ralph. In this video, I want to show you how to customize a design theme for a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so PowerPoint 2013 has tons of great themes on there, and uh, there's a bunch of choices, and I picked this one here, this Ion. And I think it looks good. I like the background image. I like that gradient, the background graphic. And I, I like the font, the text. I think it looks great. I don't care for this little element over here, though, this little red flag that's on the end. And that's going to appear on every slide I create. Whenever I go to create a brand new slide, that little graphic is going to be there. And it's also taking up some space, too. So I'd like to customize this. And the easiest way to go about doing that would be to click on View and then my slide master. Now the slide master has got a lot of great features, but it's where you go when you want to customize all the slides or certain layouts of slides in your presentation. Now the slide master has this particular pane and I always it's, it's going to default to the particular slide layout that you are on, but I think it's often best to go up to the master slide layout. And changes you make here are going to affect pretty much every slide on your presentation. So when I'm up here, I notice on this particular design theme, they've got the, uh, the footer and the date off to the side here. I really don't care for that. And if I know that I'm not going to be using a footer, or at least not a footer like this, I can just click on the border. That's the best way to go. Click on the border to select that item and delete. Oops, now there's some element too there. But I'll click right there and delete that click on this that's going to delete that little number click on the red object and I can delete that too that little number symbol by the way was going to be a slide number if you're going to do slide page numbers basically so now that I've taken care of that I'm going to click on this title graphic and just move that off a little bit more to the right and I'll take the content area and move that off a little bit more to the right and that's going to affect a lot of my slides in fact the, the two column slide layout needs to be adjusted also, but it's still in pretty good shape. So that did take care of the red graphic element. And if I close my master view, that little red tab is no longer on any of my is no longer on my slides. If I go back into slide master, and if I knew for a fact that I was going to be using more of these particular two column layouts and things like that, then I'd probably want to go through and affect those also. You know, and just once again take these objects out. I'm just clicking on the border and hitting delete, and then I can, can decide how I want to stretch these out. Whether I want to move this right column, resize the width, and take the take that one over, or make one wide and one narrow. You have a bunch of options, and I might go to some other particular layouts that I use on a regular basis. But if you know you're not using all of the layouts, and very few people do, you're only using a couple of the layouts that only affect, only modify the layouts you tend to use most often. And that makes it easy to kind of change what's going on here. Now if I do want to add something, like and this is where you might put on a logo or something like that, then I would certainly head back over into that slide master. I'm going to go back to my master slide here. So I do want to incorporate a logo, maybe in the lower right corner. So I'm going to insert, um, let's see, I'm going to insert a shape. We'll just pretend it's my logo, okay? And if this was truly a logo graphic, then I would be inserting a picture. And I will, uh, let's see, I'll just get a little cloud symbol there. I'm going to draw that down in the lower right corner. So I've got this cloud symbol, and that's going to represent the logo that's going to appear on all of my slides. But I want to make sure that none of my content will conflict with my logo. So while I'm on the slide master, I'll also kind of size things, and I'll check out a few of the other layouts to make sure that none of the content areas, oh, see here's a problem, conflict with my logo. And after I've taken care of a few of those, I'm satisfied with it. I'll close out a master view and then I'll be assured that my slides will all have my logo in the bottom right corner and everything's fine. 